Welcome to our deep dive into the ocean's newest discoveries. I am Salman, and it is with immense pleasure that I guide you today into a realm largely unseen, a world of profound mystery and breathtaking beauty that lies miles beneath the sunlit surface of our planet's waters. Here, in the perpetual twilight of the abyssal plains and the crushing pressures of the Hadal Zone, life persists in forms so extraordinary they challenge our very understanding of existence. The ocean, covering over 70% of our Earth, still holds countless secrets, an almost infinite frontier for exploration and wonder. Today, we're exploring some of the most fascinating creatures recently found in the depths of the sea. These are not merely new species, they are testaments to the relentless ingenuity of evolution, organisms that have adapted to survive in environments we once thought incapable of supporting complex life. Each discovery is a new note in the grand symphony of the natural world, a fresh brushstroke on the vast canvas of biodiversity. We shall journey together, witnessing firsthand the ethereal glow of living light, the cunning strategies of unseen hunters, and the delicate dance of life in the profound dark. Prepare yourselves to be astonished, to be captivated by the sheer alien beauty and the remarkable adaptations of these newfound inhabitants. Our journey will take us through crushing pressures and into Stygian blackness, revealing beings that pulse with their own light, creatures that are masters of disguise, and others that cultivate their own sustenance in the most unlikely of gardens. So let us embark on this voyage of discovery to meet the ocean's newest denizens and to marvel at the enduring power and creativity of nature itself. Our first encounter in this submerged world brings us face to face with an apparition of ethereal beauty, a newly identified species of bioluminescent jellyfish. Imagine, if you will, a creature seemingly spun from starlight, drifting silently through the inky blackness. Its delicate bell, perhaps no larger than a human hand, pulses with an internal cool light, a phenomenon known as bioluminescence. This is not merely a passive glow, it is a sophisticated language, a tool for survival in a world devoid of sunlight. The light flickers, it shifts, it can intensify or dim, each change a potential signal to others of its kind, or perhaps a warning to would-be predators. This living lantern navigates the water column with an almost balletic grace. Its tentacles, often adorned with their own pinpricks of light, trailing behind like shimmering ribbons. The specific chemical reactions that produce this cold light, luciferin and lucifer, as interacting with oxygen, are a marvel of natural engineering perfected over millions of years. For this jellyfish, light is life. It may use its glow to attract minute prey, tiny crustaceans and other zooplankton drawn in by the mesmerizing display, only to become ensnared, or when threatened, it might flash brilliantly, a burglar alarm to attract even larger predators to its attacker, a clever defensive strategy in the high-stakes game of deep-sea survival. Observing these creatures even through the lens of our most advanced submersibles is a humbling experience. They represent a form of life so perfectly attuned to its extreme environment, a, a silent, luminous testament to the diversity that can flourish where the sun's rays never penetrate. Each pulse of light is a fleeting moment of artistry in an otherwise lightless gallery, a reminder of the vibrant, hidden ecosystems that thrive in the profound depths far beyond our everyday perception. The sheer variety of patterns and colours observed in different bioluminescent species hints at a complex world of communication and interaction we are only just beginning to decipher. We now descend further into zones where the pressure is immense and the darkness absolute. Here, in this seemingly inhospitable realm, dwells a master of ambush, the deep-sea anglerfish. This is a creature sculpted by the extremes, its appearance often deemed grotesque by surface standards, yet perfectly adapted for its life of patient predation. Its most distinctive feature, of course, is the modified dorsal fin spine, the elysium, which extends forward, dangling a fleshy, often bioluminescent, lure, the esker directly above its cavernous mouth, a mouth filled with long, needle-sharp teeth angled inwards to prevent any escape. The anglerfish is the epitome of energy conservation in an environment where food is scarce. It remains largely motionless, sometimes for hours, a dark, unmoving silhouette against the even darker backdrop. 
Only the lure, glowing faintly or wiggling enticingly, betrays its presence. This tiny beacon of light in the abyss is an irresistible attraction to smaller fish and crustaceans, who, mistaking it for a potential meal or a mate, swim closer, ever closer. Then, with astonishing speed, the anglerfish's jaws unhinge, its mouth expands dramatically and the unsuspecting victim is engulfed. A swift and silent execution in the deep. The lives of these anglerfish are truly extraordinary. The males in many species are diminutive in comparison to the females, and their sole purpose is to find a mate. Upon locating a female, some male anglerfish will latch on, fusing their bodies with hers, becoming parasitic, receiving nutrients from her bloodstream while providing sperm, a bizarre yet effective reproductive strategy in the vast emptiness. Such adaptations, born from the relentless pressures of the deep sea, highlight the incredible plasticity of life, its ability to find a way, no matter how challenging the circumstances. Each anglerfish is a solitary monarch in its dark kingdom, a patient hunter waiting for its next luminous opportunity. Our journey now takes us to encounter a creature that embodies the very essence of stealth and elusiveness, the glass octopus Vitraledonella richardi. This remarkable cephalopod has taken the art of camouflage to an almost ethereal level. Its body, with the exception of its optic nerve, eyeballs and digestive tract, is almost entirely transparent. Drifting through the mid-waters, often referred to as the twilight zone, it is less a solid being and more a ghostly shimmer, a near-invisible presence that blends seamlessly with the dimly lit waters surrounding it. This transparency is its primary defense against predators and a significant advantage in ambushing its own prey. Imagine the challenge of spotting such an entity. Light passes almost entirely through its gelatinous tissues, rendering it a mere distortion in the water, a phantom that is there and yet not there, only its eyes, large and prominent to capture every photon of scarce light and the shadowy outline of its internal organs give any clue to its form. Its eight arms, equally translucent, trail behind or reach out subtly, ready to grasp unsuspecting crustaceans or small fish that stray too close, unaware of the danger that lurks unseen nearby. The glass octopus moves with a gentle jet-propelled grace, its ghostly form rippling as it navigates its three-dimensional shadowy world. The few opaque organs it possesses present a unique challenge. To minimize their visibility, the glass octopus has evolved another cunning trick. It often holds its body in a vertical orientation, making these darker parts appear smaller and less conspicuous from below, where many predators might be looking up against the faint downwelling light. This creature is a living paradox, so delicate in its transparency, yet so robust in its ability to survive in the competitive and dangerous environment of the open ocean. Each sighting is a rare gift, a glimpse into a life lived on the very edge of perceptibility, a true master of the art of disappearing. We now venture to one of the most extreme environments on Earth, the hydrothermal vents, volcanic fissures on the ocean floor spewing superheated, mineral-rich water into the frigid deep. It is here, amidst this seemingly toxic brew, that we find an extraordinary crustacean, the Kiwaidae, more commonly and affectionately known as the Yeti Crab. Its most striking feature is its hirsute appendages, particularly its chile or claws, which are densely covered in pale, hair-like setae. These are not for warmth nor for show, these hairs are in fact miniature gardens, meticulously cultivated by the crab itself. These fascinating creatures live in a world devoid of sunlight, so photosynthesis is impossible. Instead, the ecosystem here is built upon chemosynthesis, where bacteria convert the chemicals gushing from the vents into energy. The yeti crab has formed a unique symbiotic relationship with these bacteria. Its hairy claws provide a vast surface area upon which filamentous bacteria colonize and thrive, feeding on the methane and sulfides emanating from the vents. The crab, in turn, rhythmically waves its claws through the vent plumes, ensuring its bacterial gardens receive a constant supply of these life-giving chemicals. When it is time to feed, the yeti crab uses specialized comb-like mouthparts to scrape the bacteria off its own setae, consuming its homegrown harvest. This remarkable farming behavior is a testament to the innovative ways life can adapt to exploit even the most inhospitable niches. The discovery of the Yeti crab and its unique lifestyle 
has opened up new avenues of research into chemosynthetic ecosystems and the complex interplay between animals and microbes in the deep sea. It is a farmer in a lightless world, a testament to the resourcefulness of life, cultivating its sustenance in the shadow of volcanic fury. Our final encounter for today takes us to the Abyssal Plains, where we meet one of the deep sea's most endearing and surprisingly graceful inhabitants, the Dumbo Octopus. Named rather charmingly after the famous elephant calf from Disney's imagination, these octopuses, belonging to the genus Grimpotuithis, possess two large ear-like fins protruding from the sides of their mantle just above their eyes. These are not, of course, true ears, but highly modified fins that they use for locomotion flapping them gently to propel themselves through the water with a serene and almost whimsical elegance. Unlike many of their shallow water cousins, Dumbo octopuses do not rely on jet propulsion as their primary means of movement. Instead, they fly through the deep, their ear-like fins beating rhythmically, allowing them to hover, explore and navigate the vast, featureless expanses of the ocean floor. Their bodies are often soft and gelatinous, an adaptation to the immense pressures found at depths that can exceed several thousand meters. They are relatively small, with some species fitting comfortably in the palm of a human hand, their large eyes perfectly suited for detecting the faintest glimmers of bioluminescence or the silhouettes of potential prey in the near-total darkness. These charming cephalopods are benthic creatures, meaning they live on or near the seabed. They feed on small crustaceans, worms, and other invertebrates that they find by gliding just above the sediment, their eight webbed arms ready to envelop any unsuspecting morsel. The Dumbo octopus, with its unique appearance and gentle locomotion, reminds us that even in the deepest, darkest corners of our planet, life can be not only resilient and strange, but also possess a captivating and disarming charm. They drift through their silent world, tiny-eared phantoms of the abyss a delightful discovery in the ongoing exploration of our ocean's hidden realms. And so our brief submersion into the ocean's newest discoveries comes to a close. We have glimpsed but a fraction of the marvels that the deep sea continues to unveil, from the living lights of jellyfish to the patient cunning of the anglerfish, the ghostly transparency of the glass octopus, the ingenious farming of the yeti crab, and the endearing flight of the Dumbo octopus. Each creature is a chapter in an immense unfolding story of life's tenacity and its boundless capacity for adaptation in the face of extreme challenge. The dark, cold and pressure-filled depths are not barren voids, but vibrant ecosystems teeming with life forms that defy our expectations and expand our understanding of what it means to be alive. The ocean remains Earth's last great frontier, and these recent findings underscore just how much there is still to learn, to explore, and to cherish. Every new species documented, every new behavior observed, adds another vital piece to the intricate puzzle of our planet's biodiversity. It is a world that Somen is passionate about sharing, a realm that reminds us of the profound interconnectedness of all life. The responsibility to protect these fragile hidden worlds rests with all of us, for they are an integral part of the global ecosystem that sustains us all. Thanks for joining us on this underwater adventure. We hope this journey has ignited your curiosity and deepened your appreciation for the wonders that lie hidden beneath the waves. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing ocean discoveries. Until our paths cross again on another exploration, may your sense of wonder continue to guide you. The ocean's depths are calling and there are always more secrets waiting to be revealed.